welcome or welcome back to my channel uh, today I'm doing a plan with me video where I'm going to do my February Bujo setup so my monthly spread I'm just going to do a title page of the calendar and then mark out my my weekly spreads for February so yeah thank you for joining how is everybody um, I'm literally white knuckling it through through January. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I'm just exhausted all the time. It's a bit bonkers. Um, I don't understand why. I had a very chilled out Christmas. Like I just ate and drank and fell asleep on the couch with family and friends. Like it didn't do anything, you know very active but yeah no I'm exhausted from doing nothing is that possible I really should have all of these ready um to go before I start filming but sure look we live but we don't learn okay I'm gonna do my title stamps in capitals I think I've decided because February is the year, is the start of the year. Wow, <laughs> this is really going to set the tone for this video. Apologies in advance. <laughs> um, if you've seen any of my other goals videos or my annual Bujo setup, I repeatedly tell everyone it's like a preemptive excuse for me being a sloth. So I start the year gently and I end the year gently. Um, None of this finish the year strong business for me. No, 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 no. I want to crawl over the finish line that is New Year's Eve. <laughs> uh, but then to be fair to me, I'm generally quite motivated and diligent when it comes to keeping on top of my goals from February to November. Um, yeah. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. I'm not a lazy oaf. I just target my productivity. I've focused, <laughs> niche even, productivity approach. <laughs> I am saying all of this in a vain attempt to distract you from the fact that I can't find any of the letters I want. Also mortifying as a woman in her mid thirties with a third level education and I never remember how to spell February. Is it two R's or is it just one R? Like I really should know this. Like I speak well, I suppose me speaking English is probably debatable, but um I speak English, I speak Irish and I speak Spanish. And I still can't spell February. <laughs> Awkward, embarrassing, scarlet for me mother. Right, okay. What is happening here now? I'm looking for the Y. Beautiful. Right. Apologies that you had to witness that. Um, I'm sure it was very uncomfortable. But look, I'm going to move on from my chatty bit and start the actual stamping and designing which will be fast forwarded with music for your listening pleasure also i've just spotted this little knickknack that i bought in tk maxx this is classic um january carla being passive aggressive so this is my work desk <laughs> obviously i don't have this facing any of the screens but the passive aggressive in me really loves looking at this while reading passive aggressive emails but yeah that's probably a glimpse into my dark soul you didn't need today but sure look there it is uh okay i'm gonna without further ado she says i'm gonna start marking this up i'll fast forward it so you can see what i'm doing but you don't have to like you know give up your entire day potentially week for it so yeah, I hope you enjoy.
Midge. Say hi. Say hi. Um, you don't want me to plan my February? No? No planning for February? Okay, cool. Cool. Bye, Smidge. <laughs> so, we have just finished the title page for February. I've put in some important events and dates that I already know of. And if you hear Manic scratching in the background, that is Smidge making another appearance. So, I just break up my weekly spreads into eight equal portions. That means that I have one box for each day of the week plus a box for notes or prioritizations, um, which I generally like to do. So let's get started. Get the old ink pad out. That's absolutely banjaxed. I don't know how I did that. And honestly, I don't know if I did that. That could have been one of either of my cats. They are sorry, I just forgot to talk there. <laughs> they are very curious, a little bit naughty, and have no concept of personal space. And a lot of the time they have a terrible sense of timing as well, so it wouldn't surprise me in the least if they're to blame for my now shoddy ink press thing. What is that even called? Ink pad. Oh my God, lads. January is doing me dirty. I cannot function. Okay, I'm going to be quiet now so that for the rest of this arduous printing, I can fast forward and you're not subjected to my slow descent to madness at the tail end of January. Enjoy and I'll see you at the other side. guys planning anything exciting the first week of February we we're having a really nice one actually so uh, last year in Ireland we voted to add another public holiday which is the 6th of February St Bridget's Day or Bridget's Day Bridget if I remember correctly which I totally may not was the old uh, the ancient goddess of wisdom poetry and blacksmithing so she was a busy lady, <laughs> multi-talented, our Bridget. Uh, we're also expecting a visitor from Spain from Thursday to Sunday, which is going to be really nice. And we're going to visit Killarney on the Saturday. So book, restaurant. For Killarney. Other than that, I think it's a fairly chill, it's a fairly chill week for me, which is nice um, in the warm up for actually, you know, lifing. This is, I'm going to have to delete this audio because it sounds like my batteries haven't been charged up properly. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's my plan with me. I will see if I will continue the theme, the cloud theme through this. Generally, I like to keep my weekly spreads a bit more minimal, allows more room for actual planning and note taking. I might try, let's try some color. Let's see how I feel about color. 
all of the rest have been quite minimal for the weekly but let's just let's give it a go do I like that I think I do yeah it's nice she says self praise is no praise my mother always said so let's see. I'm going to alternate now and ruin it. <laughs> oh, that's a bit nicer. It uh, jazzes it up a bit. Ties in with the colour scheme. But also leaves me all of the room for actual planning and notes because this is how I plan my life. I forgot to do my daily habit tracker. Uh, uh. Okay, so water, four bottles. Literally every time I draw these water drops or whatever, I'm trying to get them to look like. They look different. Which is better? This looks like a weird kidney bean. They look like headless pigeons on a telephone pole. I don't know. It'd be like those psychology tests where they show you a picture and they say, um, tell me what you see. Okay. So this is my daily tracker to ensure that I drink enough water. Then I have another daily tracker to make sure that I'm taking my medication. I'm quite forgetful with it. So this little symbol helps me to not take two or to forget to take any at all. And then last but by no means least is my little stopwatch which I colour in if I've done some kind of movement that day and physical activity. It doesn't have to be anything too strenuous. Literally just get out for a 10 minute walk and get some steps in and move my body. I work from home, so I'm indoors a lot and I'm sedentary a lot, so it's nice. It's a nice habit that I've gotten into, so if I haven't gone for a walk before work and I'm not planning on going to the gym on my lunch break. I will just go for a walk to the top of my road or walk to the shop and get a takeaway coffee. Get some steps in, get some oxygen in the lungs and move my body. That's it from me. Um, hope you enjoyed this and our splurge and colour. So in January, we just went with out the colour. So I think I'm gonna retrospectively colour it up. That's it folks, thank you for watching and for spending the time with me. Um, if you like my content, please like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And for the people that have left comments and subscribed already, thank you very much. It really does mean a lot. Um, this is a new journey for me and um, it's really nice when people take the time to look at the content you've created. So thank you, I appreciate you. Have a lovely week. Let me know if you've got any exciting plans. And if you do your weeklies different, let me know. I, I like this for now, but like I said, I'm new to Bujo, so um, totally up 
for changing things up week to week, month to month. Progress, not perfection and all that jazz. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, have a good week and speak to you next time. Bye.